me back. I have to stop trying to be a hero and let the players around me make plays. Well, that became infinitely easier when Brandon Bean went out and secured Stefan Diggs in that trade from the Vikings. Josh Allen has helped to make this edition of Bills a destination. Emmanuel Sanders chose to sign with the Bills. That veteran added to this receiving core should be really interesting, guys. And part of the reason, a large part of the reason is because of the Bills' success and because of Josh Allen in particular, that players want to be in Buffalo. And I don't think we can underplay the significance of that kind of thing. No doubt about it. I, I am in full agreement with you guys. They should pay him. Um, and they should pay him right now because, like Peter said, it's financially responsible to get a guy um, before he actually forces you to break the bank. You know, I, I just wore this Eric Dickerson shirt just because I love Eric Dickerson and it's a football show. Uh, but Eric Dickerson mm. redefined the running back position after seeing some great running backs before him. Josh Allen is that same type of quarterback. He is going to redefine the quarterback position. Okay, just showed everybody those numbers from last year. But he is knocking on the door of 5,000 yards passing, 50 total touchdowns, and being one of the top threats in the game. He's already respected, but being one of the best quarterbacks in the game is a whole different type of bag that he is going to dig into on the field and a whole different type of bag the organization is going to have to dig into to pay him. You know, it's funny, you know, people are talking about uh, – Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. And now if you try to invest in cryptocurrency, it's expensive. If you would have gotten in a long time ago, <laughs> you would have been good and you would have been sitting on a big bag of cash right now. But it's just like that with the quarterback of, of Josh Allen's talent. You don't want to wait a year from now where he's going to look at you and say, well, well you should have got in on the ground level when I was much cheaper. You know, all of a sudden you're, you want to pay me after I gave you this record breaking season once again. No, I'm not going to give you a discount. Discount. No, I will not give you a hometown discount. You need to pay me either like Patrick Mahomes or even more. Yes. And if you at home are sitting back saying, well, Nate, I don't understand cryptocurrency. Well, let's go ahead and pay Josh Allen, not because he's cryptocurrency, because he actually might be crypto knight to what Patrick Mahomes is as wow. Superman in the AFC. I love it, Nate. I'm all over. I don't know nothing about crypto, but I hear what you are saying. Peter, I ask you because... I mean, how? I think there's a ceiling for how high they're going to pay Josh Allen. That ceiling is Mahomes. They have to pay him for the season. I don't think know how much they'd save if they did it now versus later. If there's no pressure from Josh Allen and his camp, like there was from Dak, they were negotiating. It was looming, as you said. Why should they pay him, or what's the risk reward? Uh, uh, like weigh it out for me, paying him until there's pressure from Josh Allen and his camp, because there is an inherent risk. Look at the unpredictability at the quarterback position around the league. Why pay him until? him and his people come to the table to start talking about it. And does Lamar Jackson have something to do with that? He's sort of an X factor. I don't know what he's going to get paid, how he's going to get paid, but he's up, and I think Baker Mayfield is too. Yeah, and it's Baker, it's Lamar, and, and I think that might be one of the reasons why you want to see what those guys get first, and it's a game of chicken. I remember with Goff and Wentz a couple mm. of years ago, the Rams are waiting on the Eagles, the Eagles waiting on the Rams, the Eagles gave Wentz his deal, then the Rams sh shortly followed. I said, okay, now that we know those numbers, we can react. Um, similar to last year, and Mahomes got a big deal, and then Deshaun Watson, about a month later, got his. Uh, but to me, this is one of those deals where, okay, I, even if he goes 17 and 0, and suddenly, you know, is the MVP and they win the Super Bowl, it's not like he wants to hit free agency. He doesn't want to go anywhere else. So you're right. I, I don't, I don't see the pressure coming from his camp. The only thing it would be is that if things start getting a little ugly and the numbers are way off and it's like, hey, I, I think what's fair mm. is in the $40 million range, but the bills come to the table and they're offering something in the low 30s and it's just, it just doesn't make sense. I, I, I think Kim really nailed it when she was talking about just what this guy means to not only the franchise, but to the city and as the leader that he is. So I, I don't think it would get public with Josh Allen. That's what you risk though. And I don't think it was ever going to get public with Dak, and a lot of it didn't come from Dak. But as the months went by, any word from anything became about his contract. And they started asking his teammates all day about it. So I think you just want to get it done so it's not the issue of the season, especially if the Bills don't start out great. And now there's questions. Is Josh Allen or that? No, Josh Allen's your guy. Go get Josh Allen and go make sure he's happy for a really long time.
He's playing at such a high level, coming off such an incredible season. A, a rare, unanimous pay the man at the Good Morning Football panel, and it just goes to show you how far Josh Allen has come and how we view him uh, in our eyes here at the breakfast table. Okay, he's certainly a contender. The Bills are a contender in the AFC, in the NFL. We want to ask you on Twitter, though, which AFC quarterback go there right now at Jim Fee. Fuel our show with your tweets, please. Make us go. Which AFC quarterback do you think is the biggest rival to Patrick Mahomes? Is it the aforementioned Baker Mayfield, also due for some money? We got the Ravens. Lots of choices here. Or is it Josh Allen and the Bills? Do you think there's a reason to maybe not pay him until his camp comes to the table, until, I don't know, what's the risk-reward? What do you guys think? Let us know all your thoughts at GMFB. Now, Derek Carr and the Raiders, they want to get... 